Hello dear children welcome back I am Dr Jisha Jo in this video we shall study about the blood platelets and their role in blood clotting let us first have a look at the characteristic features of uh, blood platelets blood platelets are also called as thrombocytes they are also called as thrombocytes now shape coming to their shape they are minute oval or rounded structures minute oval or round structures okay they are non nucleated they do not have a nucleus they are non nucleated structures they have a life span of average life span of 3 to 5 days they are also uh, born in the red bone marrow but they are formed from special uh, giant cells which are called as megakaryocytes megakaryocytes are giant cells uh, present in the red bone marrow and it is from these megakaryocytes uh, platelets are produced by the process of budding so from the large megakaryocytes uh small buds will be produced and the blood platelets are produced by budding off from the giant uh, cells which are called as the megakaryocytes now their number ranges from 200000 to 400000 per cubic sorry per cubic millimeter of blood so that is the number of uh, the blood platelets present per cubic millimeter of uh, blood and finally these uh, blood platelets they get destroyed in the spleen spleen so once again blood platelets are also called as thrombocytes they are minute oval or round structures they are non nucleated and can be seen floating in blood the average life span is 3 uh, to 5 days they or uh, they originate from the uh, giant cells in the red bone marrow which are called as the megakaryocytes by budding off from the uh, megakaryocytes then the average number is uh, 200000 to 400000 per cubic millimeter of blood and uh, finally coming to their destruction they are destroyed in the spleen so that is with regard to the characteristic features of uh, blood platelets now uh, the most important function of blood platelets is they uh, is that they are concerned with blood clotting now we shall have a look at how blood platelets help in the process of blood clotting now here we shall have a look at the steps in blood clotting we know when does a clot form when there is an injury or a wound we know blood uh, flows out through the uh, cut or the wound and uh, soon after that after a few minutes we can see that a clot will be formed at the cut region how is this formed how does uh, clot formation take place we have already seen uh, that uh, the why why is uh, clot formation taking place we have seen that it prevents the excessive loss of blood from our body and also it prevents the entry of germs into our body through the open wound so uh, these are the reasons why clot formation take place but how how is clot formation taking place that is what we are going to see now so at the region of injury or wound uh, the blood platelets disintegrate 
the blood platelets disintegrate at the region of the wound producing a substance called thrombokinase okay so that is uh, the injured cell the cells get injured at the region where of the wound together with the platelets okay platelets will be present at the region platelets these platelets present at the injured region get disintegrated to release a substance called thrombokinase thrombokinase is also called as thromboplastin okay so this is the first step in blood clotting so at the region of the wound the platelets disintegrate to form or to release a substance which is called as the thrombokinase or the thromboplastin it is also called as the factor x or the stuart factor okay so that is the first step now what happens in the second step the thrombokinase will act as an enzyme and it catalyzes the second step in the second step uh, prothrombin prothrombin is an inactive substance present in blood prothrombin is an inactive substance that is present in blood and this thrombokinase will act as an enzyme in presence of calcium ion the inactive prothrombin will be converted into active thrombin thrombin is the active form of prothrombin so that is the second step in blood clotting okay so in the blood an inactive uh, form of thrombin which is the prothrombin is present the thrombokinase acts as an enzyme and catalyzes the conversion of inactive prothrombin to active thrombin and this uh, conversion takes place in presence of the calcium ions in the next step step number 3 this thrombin acts as an enzyme thrombin acts as an enzyme and in presence of calcium ion converts soluble fibrinogen we have already seen fibrinogen is a substance which is present in trace amounts in the blood okay and it is in the soluble form soluble fibrinogen is uh, converted into insoluble fibrin insoluble fibrin so uh, since it is insoluble it forms a network of thread at the region of the wound so uh, these are the steps once again uh, at the region of injury the, the platelets release a substance platelets disintegrate and release a substance called thrombokinase or thromboplastin next step the thromboplastin acts as an enzyme and converts the inactive prothrombin to active thrombin in presence of calcium ions third step thrombin acts as an enzyme in presence of calcium ion converts uh, soluble fibrinogen to insoluble fibrin fibrin is insoluble and it forms a network of thread at the region of wound and what happens is that at the, in this network of threads uh, the uh, uh, the cellular elements of the blood gets entrapped or the cells the blood cells get uh, trapped inside this network okay and the network uh, the fibrin network shrinks so that as it shrinks uh, the cellular components get entrapped inside this network of thread while the plasma uh, is left behind this plasma without fibrinogen is called as serum because fibrinogen present in the plasma has now been converted into fibrin so it is the plasma without fibrinogen 
and the plasma without fibrinogen is called serum so what we have seen fibrin forms a network of threads at the region of the wound and uh, the blood cells get entrapped in this network as uh, the network shrinks uh, the plasma is squeezed out this plasma without fibrinogen is called as serum and uh, this uh, uh, shrunken network of fibrin threads in, inside which the blood cells are entrapped forms the clot and this process of blood clotting is called as coagulation coagulation i hope uh, the session is clear to you if you have any doubts please ask your doubts and give your suggestions in the comment section thank you